What up? It's Wa in the Morning Hip Hop Thursday. This is how we do it. I go by the name Karen Jussa, and you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as Karen Kang Gang Gang. Follow for follow, Maze. You know, I need those follows. Okay, so guys, today we asked you on our Facebook page do you think hip hop artists use Illuminati as a publicity stunt or are they genuinely in it? Okay, now in studio today, Nikona King Motis. I say we are banning the evil. Che, okay? che, so che. maybe you can tell us if Illuminati is evil or yeah. do you think Illuminati is evil? Uh, Illuminati, personally, I don't think it's evil or it's not evil. My my opinion is it's mm -hmm. about how how personally you get it as a person because in the industry it's all about hard work and to me it's much of a publicity stunt uh, rather than religion or something that people use so you can them. call it a marketing gimmick yeah okay. as a rapper yeah as a rapper yeah but because it all narrows down to the hard work someone has not the illuminati pub publicity stunt or something yeah mm -hmm. but for sure many rappers use it for sure yeah. you agree to that yeah i agree to that would you you know want to try mm, it no really no as as you can listen to my song banivol it's strongly against that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So King Motis Maze, he's been uh, in the industry since 2014. That's a long time, man. Yeah, yeah, Five sure. Five years almost? Five years, yeah, Five years, since okay. I was in campus. Oh, wow. So you started in campus? Yeah, MKU. How was it like? It was Starting hard. the journey? Uh, it was hard. I started in a music group, mm -hmm. a duo called Washukiwa Musical. Mm -hmm. I was with a guy called Gizmo. We were doing dancehall, hip-hop. So it was pretty hard in Thika. 37 representing whoa whoa yeah mm -hmm. Deca Deca. Deca Be Dix. yeah before i moved to rongai to pursue a solo career oh wow can i stop you there yeah. like <laughs> i i came here to rongai a week ago and i got tired of that life i went back to thika so wow <laughs> yeah i got tired of thika as well really yeah sure jesus christo okay uh-huh yeah so it was hard first of all i was a dancer at sword crew sakata mm -hmm. yeah so the the group thing just didn't work with me because of the pace you know everybody has a different drive in mm -hmm. this game yeah and it was more of my drive was doing solo career because mm -hmm. i was writing my own thing mm -hmm. doing my art and people was like you can do this on your own yeah and i was feeling that uh, the group was slowing me down mm -hmm. so wow. after we released our debut single was text recorded by stabbies at pacho mm -hmm. we released the video then i decided to go solo yeah that's the time that i recorded burn evil yeah, by Big Up, Bola, Machiavelli, Roga. Mm -hmm. So yeah. before that, while you were in the group, uh, yeah. how many tracks did you guys drop? Um, uh, videos, we dropped three videos, mm -hmm. two hip-hop, one dancehall. But uh, for tracks, we did around 12 tracks, mm -hmm. 12 serious tracks in Mudundo. Yeah, oh, okay, Mudundo. that's awesome. So yeah. by them slowing you down, what do you really mean? Because <laughs> uh, group work is, you know, so much effort. It's tricky, mm -hmm. yeah, because at the end of the day, we wake up with different drives. Okay. So my drive was to reach somewhere that I didn't feel the group was taking me there. Oh. And I was the leader of the duo mm -hmm. and the dance group. Okay. So I felt that four years down the line, you're not doing anything and you're as a group. And I felt like alone, I can do this much better within a short time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I just decided that. But there was no beef. There was no differences. Yeah, I just left with good peace. And mm -hmm. now I'm here. Yeah, Yeah, beef is only on burgers, man. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> why I released Banivol. By then, no hard feelings to anybody in the industry or anybody mm -hmm. with my past. Yeah, Banivol is just a life teaching with my story. Yeah, oh, just awesome. basically true my storyline yeah man. so we'll get right into ban evil in yeah. just a few yeah. uh, maybe you can tell us what you really enjoy right now as an artist in the music industry because you said you know after you broke up from the group now you're doing your thing and you're quite liking it what is this that you really enjoy doing in the music industry uh, first of all i'd say after i broke up from washukiwa i realized my full potential oh wow yeah with the group, I was kind of locking down my potential to some ideas, mm -hmm. maybe to some comrade ideas. But personally, I have the freedom to express myself. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying the music life right now, mm -hmm. like uh, writing my tracks, interacting with my fans, yeah, managing my own music business. Oh, wow. Yeah, Big Up Jose, mm -hmm. FGB, my director, mm -hmm. and Magic Mike, the producer. So far, I'm moving places as I'm, as I'm alone. And uh, basically... It's good so far. 
yeah. good so far. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious to know what really drew you to the music industry. Uh, I've been multi-talented for a while. Mm -hmm. Before I started music, I was in high school. I was doing basketball back in Laser Hill. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Yeah. Then explains your attire, right? Yeah. <laughs> True. Sure. Then after Is that. Is that your real hobby? Basketball. Yeah. Okay. Then on joining campus. Uh, basketball was not much active in MKU, so I started dancing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did Sakata. From there, I noticed I can rap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, through the other guy in my, my in the group, Washukiwa. Mm -hmm. So when I started rapping, I realized this is my thing now. I left behind all the things I was doing, so I was doing rap, and now I'm doing rap and singing too. Ah, yeah. rap and singing. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, could you kindly describe your creative process, you know, how you go about, you know, coming up with a track and when do you decide this song I'm going to sing, I'm a, so are you guided by the rhymes, the rhythm or what's up? Uh, basically music is my lifestyle. As I walk, mm -hmm. I just rap literally in my head. Yeah. And music, I can come up with a track anytime, even now I can freestyle and come up with a chorus. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't like sit down and think of what I'll write. I can hit the studio, listen to a dope beat, then I jump to it. Yeah, I mm -hmm. got buzzed 24-7. Eh, okay. Yeah. So, hapo yeah. unasema, you better run like squirrel, me elevate spiral, na, na penda giza. Yeah. Na, nyi mna penda giza, na mi na penda nuru. nuru. Yeah. Tukipatana kuna? <laughs> nuru giza, <gizani>, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? Cause okay, yeah, basically. Ni nani yawa na penda giza, honestly? Please. Okay, somebody <laughs> out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me... Is I it, like you know, stupid. a black force that you, you saw maybe or? Uh, not about the black force. I can't go deep into that. But uh, personally, mm -hmm. many people, let me use the word monkey business. Okay. Many people in the industry are prone to monkey business. And for me, uh, I don't like that. I, do, I, I like doing things the straight way. Yeah. So many people I've worked with, mm -hmm. many people I've associated with in the industry, they've been doing things I don't like. Which are these people? Uh, I just say people. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you listen to Banival, you can get the story. Yeah. What is this that you don't like in the music industry? I don't like monkey business. Monkey business. Yeah, I don't like the any back funny, door. funny. Any funny, funny, any fishy business, any backstage thing. Yeah, I just like going down with my art. Yeah. This is uh, a promoter. You know, he paying you, he paying with your dough or uh, promoters, uh -huh. artists, uh -huh. producers. People who are yeah. trying to use you. People you work with in the day-to-day -day industry life, you know. Mm -hmm. The industry is big. It's mm -hmm. not that the art or the producer. Mm -hmm. The promoters are there, mm -hmm. the producers, the presenters, the DJs, you know. So if you're working with somebody and you, you find it's not straight or it's in some way it's in a monkey business, mm -hmm. you shy away. For me, I like the straight way and the song describes it all. I can't go deep into it, as I said. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. um, so let me ask you a question. Yeah. How do you go about performance anxiety when you know, you're performing out there? Uh, do you have any? No, no, no. Start no. with, oh, you're cool off. Yeah, I'm just relaxed. I'm easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm that person who's easy. Mm -hmm. Give me what you want me to do. I'll do it mm -hmm. with all the passion and love, yeah. Okay. Any day. Yeah. Right. What really inspires all this vibe? Uh, the art. It's my life. Mm -hmm. It's in me. It's in my blood. Yeah. Okay. The lyrics are in my DNA. Yeah, that's what I can say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have like any artists in Kenya that you look up to? Uh, in Kenya, I look up to mostly hardcore, old school hip hop. Mm -hmm. I look up to Keishaka. Ah. Yeah, Ukoflani. Oh, wow. it. Yeah. My shift, uh, a bus, big up, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm passing this on you, Wakadinali. Wakadinali, <laughs> of course, big up, Ska. Yeah, Chachisha, Kabisa. <laughs> then Django, Deka Deka, mm -hmm. De Niro, yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. Producer, I'm going to know you have but anyway. So maybe you can tell us about your favorite parts in your line of work. Okay, aside from, you know, doing your own thing, yeah. what is it that you like in the music industry? In the music industry, as a person, I'm in love with the studio time. Studio time. Yeah. The time I lay down my content, the time I express myself on the mic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Generally, in the music industry, I like getting out there mm -hmm. and expressing my art to the people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interacting with new artists. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like recently, Big Up Decimal 
we were in 64 mm-hmm. launching my new dancehall jam mm-hmm. i was with bonai i was sharing my music yeah mm-hmm. that's the kind of experience i like yeah maybe you can give us uh, briefly details about you know the new track three days ago you say yeah three you days ago it three days ago yeah mm-hmm. at mseto all yeah, right from the frank and mm-hmm. yeah samia the new track is called update update yeah Inspi- inspiration in inspiration of it is the aftermath of banivol mm-hmm. yeah banivol was born in the past year ah. now update is about being out there doing it with all spirits mm-hmm. being up there mm-hmm. no matter what mm-hmm. when you wake up when you sleep when you feel low mm-hmm. when you're offended when mm-hmm. you're happy mm-hmm. you just be up there yeah mm-hmm. put your hands up mm-hmm. yeah do all your right. thing to the okay. fullest so okay let's bandy evil yeah. for now yeah. uh it's it's a song that you want to listen to right now sure. the audience and yeah. the rest of us yeah. uh maybe you can tell me of your favorite line on bandy evil cuz yangu ni yo nurugizani like i even had to read it <laughs> <laughs> okay my favorite part is the intro mm-hmm. is personal ni emotional yes. uh-huh. na bado physical, physical. Uh-huh. ni king demote is na kwanga lyrical yeah Eh so okay quick question though cuz I have a I am into lyrics and yeah. I tend to listen to music and at the same time okay nikisikia ngoma fulani nenda yeah. kwa website na tafuta hiyo ngoma yeah. but I can tell you most upcoming artists it's either they don't give out their lyrics to these websites like genius and people like yeah. that why is it that it's hard for us to find lyrics in uh, you know especially from Kenyan artists Mm, basically i think uh, for upcoming artists is the niniam submit is lyrics kwa website not even know. about submitting ukisha ukisha ndike your script kwa studio when i was say was submit but my artists wengi wana lack your exposure and msa ni za waambia what to do unajua mm-hmm. most artists in kenya are mostly upcoming mm-hmm. wana do what to kule ngoma ifike huko nje wase wajue hii kitu ni noma mm-hmm. juu about to go out on the internet mm-hmm. kudu lyrics ku market and all that mm-hmm. yeah yendo kitu wase wana lack mm-hmm. okay so kuna msa hapo upcoming nje ni ni nini and i beg you how do i become like king motis ama ningependa kuwa pia upcoming artist of course you guys have a platform here on white to faithful so Check out our Facebook page reach us out hapo hapo white paper channel and you can get if you have new music bro let let us see okay so upcoming artist to tamu advice aje uko nje yeah, upcoming artist na I'm sure I go hard and I believe to kwa content and I do asisikize wase wase ndio kill music ya mtu ai mtu anza mwenyewe but wase ndio uwa so me believe kwa umeanza kitu kuna jamzi ya uwe you just hey. go hard on your own self i don't know what these guys did to you this group <laughs> we are burning the evil man you guys i don't know you should sure, they're sure. hell they're in hell already am i cuz you up there i'm yeah, up there <laughs> they're down there down there yeah. okay fine so any new tracks coming up soon um, uh videos I'll bang dropping. their heads mm-hmm. favorite jam hip hop favorite jam yeah yeah that's the track name title Yeah, bang their heads bang their heads Na bang his head jumara pa wote wako dead dry spell i can smell but majina si ezitel check is da ngori but still me no worry wal ni jungle na si ni wanyama pori sweet ni ngori hakuna pesa kwa mapori kuna ngori si mariamu leo ni lori na make sense hadi maheta wana feel sorry sina tem ya kusema yo skiza juna jua yes mnanisikiza vile wanachezea giza na mistari za kuigiza na nimeongezea test ya pizza una salivate mkisafoket nikiwa castrate na bado na elevate jj we we i i don't know i don't know that's yeah. so dope man sure, that's sure. so dope when is it dropping uh in three weeks time in three weeks time yeah the video will be out wow yeah you've already recorded and everything um, i'm recording it this week at uh-huh. magic mike studios okay yeah Hey Magic Mike. Yeah. Sawa, sawa, insisting, insisting on that. It's okay. It's yeah. alright. <laughs> so maybe to skize or to drop a buzz kidogo za Bandi Evil. Okay. As we get into the track and you know the audience can get to listen to your song. Yeah, yeah, sure. It a true story my best friend that turned me enemy me hate and play with them me never told them full of jealousy walitaka kuni mada waka drain yangu energy na chana vitu real wakisikiza water run away wanunuan kwa booth bado na wakula home away okay kaujarada buda when gay had go kwa beat 100 meters kama tyson gay na ball be easy like i thought me ni mzazi hey je 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 okay all right so social media platforms in case kuna unajua madem hapa wanatusumbuanga after menda <laughs> <laughs> tukifanya outro unapata comments fb ati sure. 
Please inside na jineo yom se social media platform yake ni guys dunia. So in case kuna kapeng kame kukufia po. <laughs> Drop the social media okay, platforms okay. to kupate. Okay, okay. Facebook kukufono. King Mortis Music. Mm -hmm. M U. Can you kindly spell it because it has a King something something. King something. K I N G Mortis M O T I Z Z Music M U Z I Q. Oh, yo bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, IQ. Uh, IQ. IQ. M U Z I Q. King oh. Motis music. King Motis. Motis. Yeah. Music. Motis, yeah. That's where they're gonna find you. Yeah. Instagram. Mm -hmm. Same. King Motis. Mm -hmm. Kenya. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right. All right. So YouTube, we. YouTube. King Motis. All right. All right. Do make sure you follow him on all his social media platforms, and also I go by the name Karen Jessa, and you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook as Karen Kang. For now, we're gonna listen to his track and. Michelle, Barry are coming up with more interviews, Rajis, more music, so Lego.